Hello, Kahardineras and Kahardineras! Welcome back to our channel, We Urban Hardinera, where we talk about plants and sustainable ideas at home or the garden. This is Ding again, your Hardinera from Cebu. And I want to know, guys, what's new in your garden? What's the latest plant that you have in your garden? Please comment down below. Share with me what's your latest baby, no? But for today, I am very excited, guys, because I'm going to do an unboxing video. This is one of the dream plants that I have. And, um, guys, <laughs> I look like an elf with my peace lily flower in my video. But, yeah, today we are going to do an unboxing video. I have to tell you that this is kind of a risk that I've taken because usually I don't order online through individuals like independent sellers guys because of all the reports that we have been seeing in the online community like about frauds and scams so I have to be very careful in terms with ordering online usually my good guys if I order online I have to make sure that that seller has already an established business like they have a page a Facebook page or they have an Instagram page where I can always get back to them if I have questions and if I have um, problems with a plant I can always get back to them for assistance however for this um, this plant was coming from Davao and she is an independent seller and I took a risk ordering from her though I have to to say that I'm very impressed with how she handled my queries guys about the plans, about the proof of purchase. What I did is that I even reverse checked the photo to make sure that that photo is not circulated elsewhere. And by the title of this video, I know that you already have an idea what this plant is. This is Epipremnum arium mandula, giant form. Giant! <laughs> I'm so excited and a little bit nervous kung naunsa na ang tanom inside no from the shipping. I think it was shipped way back um, 15th and today is the 20th so it's like 5 days. Yeah, okay. So without further ado, I know tabi an kay ko. Let's go ahead and open this up. Asa kong sister na pod. So while I'll do my thing here guys, let's discuss the scientific classification of Ogmanjula. <laughs> now, if you want that in English for the Patos, yes guys, it's Patos when you want that in English. Pero since we are Bisaya and we are Filipino, Pinoy, um, it's Potos. <laughs> Pero English kay Patos. So yeah, oh I can see it then. I'm a little bit disappointed, Kamai Kai. Um I can see damaged leaves, pero that's fine. Okay, we can revive that man. Pero yeah, going back to the classification of this plant, it is under Areche family. So it's still the Arum family guys for Patos. And the species is Epipremnum Arium Mandula. So let's go ahead and Try to open this. I so love aroids, guys, because very fast grower Silano. I think this is it. This is the moment of truth. Again, I'm not that disappointed. A little lang. <laughs> Kai, we can make this beautiful again. But, oh man. Oh man. Look at that. Let's, let's check. Wait, that. Oh god. <laughs> oh my god, JRS, what did you do? What did you do to my plant, JRS? Well, we can't avoid this, guys, because really, this plant has been traveling for five days going to your area. And in the process, go get some flaws so this is the challenge if you order online <laughs> 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 
Okay, let's take a look. All right, so this is first cartoon. <laughs> cartoon. Okay, and this is the second one. Oh my! Oh la la! So I have one, two, three, four, five damaged leaves but that's fine guys because again this is potos and since this is an aroid plant this is very resilient what's very important is that when you order online you have to check on the notes guys if it's still firm because if it's not then that's not a good sign and then for the leaves that's fine and the nodes looks fine as well it's a little bit dry but we are going to hydrate this in a bit I won't be touching this for a week guys I'll give this giant a rest <laughs> pretty must guys what so what we can do is that we can cut off these damaged areas just to prevent any further damage guys I'm all bad. Tell me if when you sakit in your dughan, when you sakit in your heart. So second thing that I'm going to do guys is just I, I just give them a little bit of hydration for the leaves so it's going to be just um water guys and just do foliar spraying So first indication guys that this is a mandula is the shape of the leaves look at that guys it's wider and it's circular and you can see this flap over here a little flap here say this one it's damaged we already cut it off <laughs> but yeah okay this one along oh there's like a little flap here and the sides are kind of wavy of course guys the variegation you have to take a look at it for mandula guys, it's a mix of green, silver, sil uh, bluish silver or silvery blue, <laughs> silvery blue, and then white and cream. Oh, here. Thanks, ma. So this is our regular. Haha, <laughs> wapo. Say baby mandula and say giant mandula. <laughs> so this is the regular mandula. Look at that. Very beautiful. No. So it's circular, the sides are kind of wavy, and then there's a little flap right here. It really looks like this, but in a giant form, right? Oh, you find me because. Ang laki niya because. <laughs> Alright, so this is our giant mandula, guys. Thank you so much, guys, for being with me while I do the unboxing of this baby. Giant baby. But before we end this video guys, let me just read some of your comments that really touched my heart. I'm very overwhelmed with your response guys on our videos. So the first shout out will go to uh, Ma Mary Jane Ribibis and she said that this is my first time to come across your channel. I appreciate the effort and time you put into researching on the topic you are discussing or featuring. I'm looking forward to seeing more videos about gardening. Yes, of course, we got that covered. By the way, you're very articulate in English and it's fun to watch you. Where in Cebu are you based? My roots are in the cities of Lapu-Lapu. Wala ko hyphen ng Lapu-Lapu. And Mandawe, stay safe. My Mary Jane, thank you so much for your very heartwarming message. Um, and yes, we are in Cebu and in Lapu-Lapu. So, tabuk-tabuk lang, guys. Uh, but we are actually from Bohol, from Cortes Bohol. So, Shout out sa tanang um, Cortesanon and Boholanos Dara and all Cebuanos. I also have 
one from Negros, ah, oh, from Negros Oriental. The name is tricky, but I know that your name is Jessica. <laughs> Hi, Mom Jessica Layumas of Negros Oriental. I'm amazed at how you speak fluent English. Kalan yun lang yan, guys. Sa kalan yun lang yan, pero <laughs> and daming take. And daming take po na no no split ako. Okay, I am amazed at how you speak fluent English and then proceed to startle me. Startle me when you suddenly speak Bisaya. <laughs> I live in Negros Oriental. I am an urban gardener and I love your vlog. Vlog? Vlog? Whatever. It's not Badoy like so many I've seen. Keep it up. Let's do also um, one from YouTube, guys. This is from Yuk. He's Korean, guys. He's really one of the first supporters and subscribers that I have in YouTube. Like from day one. Ning watch the Dayon Show on our first video. Your videos are very helpful, enjoyable, especially when you speak Bisaya. Even I don't understand. <laughs> I got my first philodendron last week, a dwarf red Congo, but I'm not sure the seller is not sure. I'm not sure the seller is not sure. I'll apply everything you shared about philodendrons. Oh, thank you so much. I still have a lot of comments from you guys that really, really um, makes me think that I'm doing the right thing. This is Ding again of the Urban Harden Era where we talk about plants and sustainable ideas at home under the garden. Bye guys! Mwah.